Hey, what's up, Style Blazing TV? This is your girl, the fabulous Takara, and you better stay locked, always. Nah, 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 come on. You tuned into Style Blazer TV, and we're here at the Essence Music Festival in the Convention Center with the lovely and beautiful Takara. Hey. All right, so Takara, we're gonna get into this interview. What's your signature style statement? Girl, I am a supermodel, so I don't have a signature style statement. I think the luxury of being a model is that I can do whatever. Like, I can just go with the flow like a chameleon. If I want to have like a punk rock look, if I want to have like a classic look, if I want to go with a, you know, a fabulous look or a tomboy look, like I can just jump into that because I'm not an artist. I don't have to be stuck exactly. in this like, you know, like an image. Mm -hmm. I just am. Right. So how do you embrace trends? Like, do you follow what the masses are doing or do you just have something that the car is? known for, a look that you're known for? Um, I don't, so you have to tell me if there's a look that I'm known for, but I will say that I do love the whole like old school, you know, like the like Marilyn Monroe yes. and the whole like Mae West yes. and the whole like <laughs> And then a coat smell like the okay. whole like you know that, you know, that yeah the bomb shell like that's okay. me don't I look like a bomb shell I'm like bomb 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 <laughs> that's me boom bang boom pow all of that that's I me. It. with the red lips see I'm like yeah. a classic girl yes it is very classic you see that you see that yes. ah, check me out look at me now <laughs> uh, <laughs> so what are you most comfortable with jeans t-shirts stilettos a sexy dress you know what I'm comfortable with. I'm so comfortable with me Good. I'm comfortable with anything girl I'll put on some heels I will work them things over like they gym shoes or I can put on some flats and you couldn't tell me nothing I'll be walking high like I'm seven foot tall right. so it's like I do that you make any look your own I do I like that. I must say so you started on Tyra Banks America's Next Top Model and you use that opportunity really to launch a successful career for yourself just share with us the Sakara formula like that was amazing you didn't even walk away winning the show but you walked away with so much more yeah but I am the winner. Amen. Ding, 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 balloons and confetti everywhere. Where is the prize? No. I, um, you know, I always wanted to be a model. Right. And this was something that I have pursued way before America's Next Time Model even exists. Right. Right. <laughs> and so I was already going to New York. I was already taking pictures and, you know, just putting in the work that it takes to be a model. Exactly. And then I was just blessed that this show, that Tyra came up with this fabulous show, um, and I was just like, oh, actually, I've seen the end of the second um, season. Okay. And I was like, oh, I can do that. <laughs> so, baby, I did it. <laughs> but no, it was just kind of like, for me, my formula was, you just give me a chance. You just put me on that TV and I'm gonna show you how you do this. Mm -hmm. You give me the opportunity and I'm gonna work it over. And I never expected anything from anyone. So I never expected that they were going to do anything more than saying, give you the opportunity. giving me the opportunity. And you turned it and, into and I was gonna work it over. <laughs> Girl, you give me some lemons and I'm gonna make you some lemonade. And you ain't even gonna know how it got sweet because you didn't give me no sugar. I mean, like, how does lemonade get so good? So what lies in the future for you? Like, what, what are you working on now? And where do you see yourself maybe five years from now? Oh, in five years from now, I'm going to still be right here, still being happy, still loving life and loving me and loving just God. Listen. And just, But you know what? But I'm good because no matter what I am do, no matter what I do, right. I'm going to be great and I'm going to be happy with it, you know? So, and you're confident in that. You know that. Yeah, I know that. It's, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm successful, period. Whether I'm still in the entertainment business or if I'm somewhere doing whatever God has planned for me, exactly. best believe I'm going to be having the best time ever. Ow! <laughs> so you're responsible for a lot of plus size girls just feeling comfortable in their skin. Did you have to overcome certain things in your own life to learn to just love yourself for who you are? Before I'm Takara. I've, right. I've been blessed that since Top Model and even to this moment that you've always seen Takara, you haven't seen an artist or an actress mm -hmm. or anything, what you see is what you get. Right. And I think that was other people issues. I think I don't let other people issue become my issue. Like that was their issue. Like, oh, Sakara, you're bigger than the girls or you weigh more of this or can you do this? Can you do that? Like that was never my issue or my concerns. I never had any insecurities about it. That was just their problem. And to me, I never felt or, you know, like I always felt fabulous. I always feel fabulous. So it never affected me. I never thought 
how am I competing against these right. skin girls? And truth be told, they have more issues than me because they would be like, oh, my hip is too big. Oh, I got too much butt. I got my stuff. I was like, you ain't got nothing. <laughs> like, they had nothing and they complained about everything. Right. So what's your fashion and style obsession? Like, what's the item you can't live without? I don't get into, um, I'm not obsessed. So you're not material. Wow. Yeah. And you would think the total opposite because you're in an uh, industry that is But I think that's why it works. That's because beautiful. when people are into it, when they when they obsess with it too much, I think that becomes not to say I don't love what I do. Like I love showing up on set and they have wow. clothes and hair and makeup and I get to be a girl and I get to play makeup, but that's what it is. It's playing makeup, it's playing dress up. So when in everyday life, I'm just like an ordinary girl. Okay. <laughs> I love that. That's real. <laughs> Any advice that you can give to other stylists out there in terms of just embracing their own individual style and just owning their own looks? What should they do? What I would like to say, I guess, as far as being in the business-wise, because I have a problem with everyone saying, like, as a celebrity, that we can't wear the same thing over, and, you know, like, if we buy something, we're on a red carpet, I'm like, like, I buy clothes to wear my clothes, and I'm going to wear them, and I think, but what I do like, I guess that's a fashion tip, is that mixing things up, you know what I mean? Like, just because you have one piece, you can belt it, you can add different colors, different accessories, and you can make it look totally different. How about high and low end? Are you yeah, oh, I'm definitely in, okay. and I'm not, I'm not into all that either, because, girl, I definitely will go get me something on sale, I'll go and, you know, and mix it up, and I think it is good that you mix the okay. high end and the low end, because you can throw on some jeans and a t-shirt and you just have a nice little pair of shoes or whatever, or not, and you right. don't. You mean, like, you don't have to have high end at all right. to look fabulous, because it's not about what you wear, it's how you wear it. You know what I mean? Because I can throw something it. on, right. and I'll tear that thing up. You'd be like, girl, who, who is that? Where did you get that from? I'd be like, girl, I got that from the Goodwill. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> But you know, but I think it's just about being able to work with what you have and being able to take what you have and, and work with it. And feeling comfortable in it. Exactly, it's all about being comfortable.